Hmm, is it working? Okay, hi guys, and if you guys didn't know, last weekend Ludum Dare 33 just occurred. And uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, Ludum Dare is basically a game jam that occurs every once every three or four months, I cannot uh, remember exactly. And uh, basically what uh, it's about is basically you have to like make a game from scratch on a selected theme in more or less about two days and uh, there's no prize on it you simply do it for the passion of games and i made like a promise like a long while ago that every ludum there from now on i'm just going to grab a bunch of games and just make a let's play of them just to like uh, share my uh, passion for games and uh, promote uh, indie developers as much as i can you know if i'm not like freaking the big channel or anything like that uh, anyway, I'm just going to grab a few games from like Newgrounds. There, obviously, I won't be able to uh, cover all of them. And if you check Ludum there's official website, there's like hundreds of game there, games there. So uh, there's definitely no way for me to cover all of them. But I'll just grab a few of them that I think that are particularly interesting. And uh, yeah, we'll hopefully have a bit of fun together. Let's see. All right, so first in line will be Project Crushing Box, or I think it's just a Project Box, the title, but apparently this, uh, the, in the game there's also Project Crushing Box, so I don't know. I also I forgot to mention that the theme for this Ludum there was You Are the Monster. So, uh, yeah, this one is supposed to be like a sort of action game. It has, uh, it has lit amount of views, you know, 1337. And, uh, yeah, let's see what uh, this one is about. Um, up to make your box jump, down or S to make your box pound other boxes, hit the top of the other boxes to destroy them, don't go out of the screen or you'll lose. Alright, it should be pretty simple. So this is it, we uh, go on over here, we can... Ooh, that is... We're just crushing them. That is... Um, that's okay. Oh, we're catching up speed. Oh ho, oh ho, oh Oops, why the hell did I die? Game over. I, uh, can I not get hit by the boxes? Is that it? I just have to crush them? Is there like no other uh, peaceful resolution to it? Hmm. I don't have to, apparently I don't need to slam them. So just uh, landing on them is enough. Uh, I guess you have you use the slam, you know, in order to like um, uh, control when you want to land. Oh shit, yeah, you cannot touch them and it's uh, getting faster and faster. The start is a little bit slow, but uh, once you get to it, it's getting uh, really fast. What's this? Um, oh, this one is the restart. Is it like... Uh, oh, it also works with air, R. So, you know, we have a little bit of controls over here. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. Come on now, can I get more than just 10 kills? Let's see. Alright, we have... Uh, went to a good start. It's uh, it's just that it starts like relatively slowly, you know, and that's uh, why I I don't have enough patience for it. And you know, in the world of video games, oops, what? Oh, I cannot let the boxes go under me either, <laughs> and I just fly. Uh, so there's basically no limit to the jumps. You know, you can uh, press up as many times as you want. Uh, this is interesting, that uh, allows a little bit more flexibility, but at the same time must not let the boxes escape, you know? So you can go high up as much as you want, but uh, you still have to crush the boxes, unfortunately. Alright, oh, what's this over here? We now have uh, linear boxes. Oh my god, I just smashed into the ground. Um... I think I would have got it, but uh, yeah, this is like um, pretty much that's uh, what this is for this game. There uh, doesn't seem to be much more. I guess if you progress a little bit more, uh, apart from the fact that it goes faster, maybe there are like different boxes. I've seen like the taller ones. And my phone is ringing, which is just excellent. Alright, so uh, this has been uh, pretty much it about this game, Project Box. Eh, interesting game. I mean, uh, you know, you cannot expect uh, two great games because all of these games are basically made in uh, two or three days, depending on uh, whether you go for the jam or the compo. And uh, yeah, I'll uh, go on for the next game now. Alright, so the next one has a very funny title. It's called uh, Namzilla Munching Mayhem. And uh, accidentally, I, I think I like skipped the um, 
uh, menu screen as I try to like uh, enter the game. So uh, I just try to go for what seems to be natural, you know, just do whatever comes natural if you remember from like Madness Combat series. And that is just going and apparently eating humans. It is fun. <laughs> Alright, so we are facing a lot more soldiers resistance. Don't you think you can escape from me? I'm just going to go and uh, freaking get you out of here. There's also like inns and uh, I wonder if I like... I cannot enter the houses apparently and I'm losing health. Is there any way to recover health? Does, does it recover when you eat humans? It doesn't. Well, then what am I supposed to do? Like, do I just go until I run out of health because I eventually will. The soldiers will kill me. Although I do kill a lot of them, I ate like 50 humans already and I just cannot stop, man. There should also be like something like getting bigger, there are many games similar to this one. Wow, the amount of soldiers is like ridiculous now. There also should be some things like the way uh, ways to get life, maybe um, uh, have more advanced soldiers, maybe get bigger as you go on, maybe um, uh, you know have some updates. Once again, the game is made in like the two days, so you know you cannot expect too much out of it. But still, uh, it's it's a little bit dull. All right, so uh, we died. Can I um, if I press any key, will it start over or? Yeah, it does start over. Can I like escape to mine menu or anything like that? Hey, stop shooting at me! God damn it! I'm just going to come and eat you now. You asked for it. Om nom 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 nom. <laughs> Also, the title is like so freaking uh, meme-ish, like Nomzilla, you know, because nom nom nom, because you know that's that's the eating meme or whatever. Um, yeah, well, this is interesting. Um, cool, uh, cool game. If you want like two minutes of fun, I suppose. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, could have a lot more if you if you ask me. But um, uh, the, the games don't have to like stop over here, you know, you can, uh, the, the game jam is only two days, but after the two days, if you want, you can keep on uh, improving and developing your games, you know, there's uh, nothing stopping you, and uh, I'll definitely recommend if you, um, the developer of this game, whoever it is, I don't want to like go down, pick, pixel walker, something, wasn't the wasn't the same for the project box I just cannot remember right now uh, but yeah, if he wants to improve the game then uh, definitely uh, go ahead and do that I um I am not going to uh, oppose that uh, I think I'm just going to die come on shoot at me come on yo oh that is just sad all right we got him um, what I wanted to say is to see if it's like uh, the menu screen uh huh. So this is uh, this is also the menu screen. So this was Mozilla, uh, Nomzilla, Munching Mayhem. I just like confused the letters completely over there. And uh, yeah, we'll uh, keep on going with some other game now. Oh hello. <laughs> All right. So the next one in line, the one that I believe it uh, looks so, sort of interesting, is RPG Director. Welcome. Hi. Do I do everything over here? I am the senior executive of Global Games Development Company, named Retrospective. Don't be fooled by my appearance, I may look like a cactuar, but I have won multiple awards and sold millions of copies worldwide. Yeah, obviously, if, uh, if it says on the internet, it obviously means it's true. So our new producer, I want you to make the greatest role-playing game of all time. So yeah, this is basically a, a role-playing developer simulator. Give full control to make the game however you may wish, but remember that at the end of the day we need to sell as many copies as possible, gain great reviews and receive a star rating from the critics. Just remember that uh, we are working to a time frame, so don't pull another no Nomura. I'll uh, speak to you again once the project is finished. And he just flew around, right? Alright, let's, uh, let's enter the name. Is it like my name or is it like the name of the game? Let's get started. Alright, we are uh, in here. God damn the music. Indie game developer. Alright, year one. Let's uh, go on. First, you have to choose the game console you want to, your RPG to be distributed on. Zbox, PlayVision, PC Mobile. Obviously PC. PC Master Race for Life. You must choose the continent you wish to distribute to the game. Why not worldwide? Um... Well, Asia has the most, but I think I'm going to go with the Europe and the Middle East for now. 
Age group are retargeting. Um, 1521. Do you like to call your game? Um, uh, oh, so you have to like choose from different columns. Um, Attack of the flesh eating zombies. Yeah, that's very original. The style of game. Um, it will probably be horror. What is the main villain of your story? Um, zombie. Well, we just said that it was zombie. What kind of music would you like to accompany your game? Um, no, all right, this one definitely the music too. Would you like to distribute your promotion? Um, trade show marketing. Oh, so we can actually choose how much. Uh, let's put uh, like some into demo, I suppose. Uh, there you go. Some into some TV adverts. God, I mean, it's so weird to like write stuff over here. A lot more into marketing and uh, just uh, 500 into a trade show. All right, excellent. The production is finally finished. Are you ready to test your, test your final product? Alright, Attack of the Flesh Eating Zombie RPG, directed by Karamida 9. Oh, cool, we actually get to play our own game. Well, this is so interesting. Oh my god. Uh, let's use a magic fire. Oh, cool. That dealt a lot of damage. Oh my god, that's just brutal. Uh, let's use lightning. Man, the graphic effects are just out of this world. God damn it, just another attack. Item, um, potion. Alright, recovered our health. God damn it, attack again. Come on, how much health does he have? He keeps throwing his sword at me. Uh, ice. <laughs> ice death. Oh, that's not very effective. Laser? Since when do zombies have lasers? And a second attack afterwards? That is just... That is just not cool. Congratulations, you have completed your project. Let's look at your results. We have sold... 2,456,543 units. So oh, that uh, sounds uh, pretty good, actually. If my first game would sell that much, I'd be actually amazed. Charts. Uh, so you can see like what it's compared with other games. Breath of Air, Final Phantasm, Link of the Future, Personification, Four Tales of Blasphemy. So it's pretty good, it's like um, uh, just uh, in second place. Alright, so uh, we can keep on going I suppose. Uh, we can choose a badge. So... Oh, this is like the badges that I, I have or what? I'm not fully convinced with your preference, would require you to earn at least two badges before we proceed. Alright, let's uh, start with another game now. Uh, we'll uh, distribute it on... Um, still PC has like the most of them, but anyway, we'll distribute it into North America now. Age group... Um, 25... yeah, the biggest percentage is over here. What would you like to call the game? Uh, curse... Um, uh, Return of the Flesh Eating Zombies. Yeah, because uh, it's the sequel to the previous one. And it's going to be um, um, another horror game. The main villain will be uh, again the zombie. And the music. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. We, you really need more than just free soundtracks, but let's go with this one, I suppose. And we'll uh, invest much more in promotion now. We'll go for like a uh, hundred thousand over here. Oops, that's all of our money. Well, better work. Are you ready to test your final project? Sure, why not? Maybe we will win the game actually. Let's go right ahead. Lightning. Seven. How much health does it have? It's ridiculous. It deals so much more damage than we uh, can. Um, fire! I forgot that lightning is not very effective. Fire seems to be a little bit better. Ah, oh, it's so bad. Attack! Ouch! Come on! 
Just to keep uh, keep attacking, keep attacking, keep on going. Another fire attack. Maybe I'll use a potion next turn. If I won't die. Ah, too late. Ah, oh, never mind. Congratulations, you have completed the game. Well, we sold the less units, but that's I think because we sold it in North America. Interesting. And uh, yeah, we are uh, developing over here. Still haven't got any of the badges. Uh, but yeah, so apparently you get like you can keep on going for like different badges and things like that. But uh, I think I'm just going to end it over here. And you can also mute the music. Apparently, I cannot like unmute it and hear it again. Well, never mind that. Uh, anyway, hope you guys uh, enjoyed watching. An interesting game, you know, it like it's a sort of combination. I'm not sure how this exactly like fits the theme, like, like you are the monster. Mm, maybe if you like consider yourself like uh, a monster creating games. I I'm 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 not sure, but uh, still a pretty interesting game. So uh, you know, I'm just going to. Uh, Keep it up over here and I'm going to go for I think one more game before I end this episode. Alright, so for the final game, as always, we're going to go for something a little bit for more mature audiences. This is uh, The Devil's Daughter. It also got like a front page on the new ground, so I think uh, it's uh, best to be uh, played right over here. So you can see over here it was made in another 72 hours for Ludum Dare 33. There might be bugs, there might be a uh, lag, but so, uh, saw it. I'm tired. In it's um, in it's a miracle. I made it solo in under for 72 hours. Well, uh, good for you, sir. So you can use WSAD to move and let's play the game. Oops, I didn't mean to skip, but um, whoa, it actually looks amazing. Time for some real action. My God, the voice is so. Are we supposed to like just kill people randomly? Okay then. <laughs> Definitely. Uh, so I see our temperature goes down as uh, as we stay out in rain. All right. We got over here. Die. Mhm. Mm you you know. Oh my God! Look at that a penis. Oh, so we can wall jump. That would be interesting to see. Oh, there we go. Just shoot that. All right, let's keep on to going. We cannot double jump. All right, so fire allows us to recover our temperature. Oh, a weapon box. Cool. Shotgun. Die. Bang. Oh. There you go. Can you like destroy the car? It doesn't seem to be so. Come on, let's keep on going. All right, we're getting into the action over here. Die. Keep on going. That uh, laughter. Right, we jumped into the portal, advance to the next level. <laughs> I, I agree. I don't know, but I definitely like it. Whoa, what the hell is this? We're shooting with cats that explode? That's wrong on so many different levels. Right, we got to the fire. I don't think we're supposed to touch the spikes. Okay, we can... Ouch. Well, at least we don't die instantly. <laughs> what? Oh, we have like jumping springs, I see. Oh, we are out of uh, ammo. Let's see if I can grab that shotgun over there. Ah, uh, come on. Mm. It's like so high up. There you go. Looking cool, I have to say. There you go. Dead, dead. Fire. Destruction. Sub things. Wall jumping. I said wall jumping. What's with the lag? Oh, these freaking shits, they just uh, block me. There you go. Off. <laughs> has a fetish for color like a red. I uh I suck my hole. Oh my god, this this game is like so good. Let's go to the next portal. I am uh 
apparently enjoying this game more than I should. What the hell is this thing? Oh, the freaking trees are in the way. There it goes. Whatever well, yeah, that was. Okay, so we'll have to like go uh, this way, I suppose. What's this? Oh, there are like things that uh, make you go in a certain, different, in a certain way. Eh. Weird. Eh. Watch it, bitch. Knob cheese, alright. Oh, that is just... Ah, oh, no! Ah, oh, that, that is just disgusting. Why would you say that? You just realized what it meant. Why does it always rain on me? Uh, okay, Uzi. Oh, cool! Have a Uzi. Bye! There we go. Keep on going, keep on going, keep on killing. Is there any story to this game? Or do we just like keep on going and killing people as long as we want? That fucking hurt. <laughs> She's so. Uh, God damn it. Uh, XX nude beavers? What the hell? I wanted to say is like uh, there any story of this to this game or not? No smiling. Ah, I didn't mean to right click over there. Uh, okay, let's. Uh, there we go. We did it. All right, we got to the fire. Ooh. Also, I have to say that uh, as uh, wrong as this is looks, it uh, still looks uh, pretty uh, pretty cute. Cool. Come on, there we go. Okay then. You will die. Kiss my face. All right. Ah, keep on going this game, huh? Just don't stop. Okay, I suppose I should get closer. Takes a long time to kill them. <laughs> that fucking hurt. No shit. Alright, got over there. Yeah, the soldiers do take a lot of shots to kill. Freaking trees in the way, man! What we got over here? Now our Woozy! <laughs> Wanker. Oh, there are the cars that come over and like, sh uh, hit you, I see. <laughs> that fucking hurts. Oops! Well, I died. So we have to like, start over from over here. Flamethrower! Flame Alright. <laughs> Alright, let's uh, keep on going. I'm not sure how much longer we have of this game, but uh, it definitely gets a little bit harder over here. So I assume that we are getting close. Come on, die! No shit, it fucking hurt. There you go. Ah, finally. Uh oh, uh oh, come on, come on. Oh no, god damn it, based on this freaking part, man. Like, I'll be right back. Alright, we freaking made it. Hopefully, there's not much more difficult stuff around here. Ah, uh, this is annoying, but come on, we are almost there. Alright, we made it. Whew! <sighs> Freaking um, devil's girl, huh? Uh, all right, so we have to like go upwards. <laughs> Freaking curses, man! All right, we got this thing, we got this thing, we have got this one. I don't really know why. There's supposed to be a weapon over here. Profanity laser. Oh, I got this one in the previous one, but I didn't show it off. Pits. Uh, pits. <laughs> Ouch. Okay, let's uh, be a little bit more careful over here. God damn it, we kept hitting ourselves. Come on, what the hell is this, Sonic? We have to like keep on jumping on stuff. Um, okay. But... Alright, we got there. Uh, arse. 
Oh, I got, I got, I got to the end. We got to the end. Is there like an end to this game or like a freaking boss battle or anything like that? It seems to be getting harder and harder. Oops. Come on. Eh. Kitty cannon. Well, this will end one way or the other. I agree, Rain is not really that cool. This should help. Flamethrower. Oh, this will uh, be <laughs> annoying. What the hell is this? A platformer now? Uh, come on, come on, come on. Almost made it. Alright, so we got the flamethrower. <laughs> What's this over here, though? Oh, right, cool. Oh, we got the key. Alright. So you need to get that one down... How the hell are we going to get back? Um... What? Uh, what? Um... Oops. I think there is a slight problem over here. That is... That we don't keep the key. How the hell are we supposed to, like, get all the way without the... Uh, doing this? Do we have to like leave some things behind? That's annoying. Bloody raining. Is she like... Is she like uh, British now? Yes, we have to like jump from 2 to 2 in order to like leave some behind. Well, this is not going to work. Oh, my spleen. Okay, we got this again. Freaking cock through on the on the walls. That's very original. Okay, let's see if we can get back. Okay, we did uh, leave some things behind. Eh, <laughs> shit. Okay then, well, um, it's a pretty cool game, I'm going to see however it ends, but I'll have to like end this episode over here. I think this is like the one that I enjoyed most actually out of these uh, games that I played, really interesting I have to say. Uh, should be a button to like return to my menu or something like that. Not necessarily necessary, the game looks pretty cool as it is, but you know, those are the little niche things that you have to like do for a game but anyway hope you guys enjoyed the watching leave a like and a favorite and i'll see you next time with what i'm going to make this has been ludum dare 33 you are the monster bye bye